Misty back, chapter eight from The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, reading with permission from Candlewick Press. So chapter seven, he was scooped out of the ocean by some fishermen. In chapter eight, we'll see what happens when those fishermen take him home. On land, the old fisherman stopped to light a pipe and then with the pipe clenched between between his teeth, he walked home, carrying Edward atop his left shoulder as if he were a conquering hero. The fisherman glanced him, balanced him there, placing a calloused hand at Edward's back. He talked to him in a soft, low voice as they walked. You'll like Nella, you will, said the old man. She's had her sadness, but she's an all right girl. Edward looked at the small town blanketed in dusk. A jumble, jumble of buildings huddled together, the ocean stretching out in front of it all. And he thought that he would like anything and anybody that was not at the bottom of the sea. Hello, Lawrence, called a woman from the front of, of a shop. What have you got? Fresh catch, said the fisherman. Fresh rabbit from the sea. He lifted his cap to the lady and kept walking. There you are now, said the fisherman. He took the pipe out of his mouth and pointed with the stem of it at the, sc the star a star in the purpling sky. There's your North Star right there. Don't never have to be lost when you know where that fellow is. Edward considered the brightness of the small star. Do they all have names, he wondered. Listen at me, said the fisherman, talking to a toy. Oh, well, here we are then. And with Edward still on his shoulder, the fisherman walked up a stone-lined path and into a little greenhouse. Look here, Nellie, he said. I brought you something from the sea. I don't want nothing from the sea, came a voice. Oh, now don't be like that, Nell. Come and see then. And an old woman stepped out of the kitchen, wiping her hands on an apron. When she saw Edward, she dropped the apron and clapped her hands together and said, Oh, Lawrence, you brung me a rabbit. Direct from the sea, said Lawrence. He took Edward off his shoulder and stood him up on the floor and held to, onto his hands and made him take a deep bow in the direction of Nellie. Oh, said Nellie, here. She clapped her hands together again, and Lawrence passed Edward to her. Nellie held the rabbit out in front of her and looked him over from tip to toe. She smiled. Have you ever in your life seen anything so fine, she said. Edward felt immediately that Nellie was a very discerning woman. She's beautiful, breathed Nellie. For a moment, Edward was confused. Was there some other object of beauty in the room? What will I call her? Susanna, said Lawrence. Just right, said Nellie. Nellie, Susanna. She took, she looked deep into Edward's eyes. First off, Susanna, first off, Susanna will need some clothes, won't she? And here's the drawing. Lawrence giving Edward to Nellie. And that's the end of chapter 8.